So I'm gonna take the gum out of my mouth and I'm just gonna stick it on okay. right here. See how the, you're never gonna have to call um, your insurance company mm -hmm. again. So I have two C batteries. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to create a supercharger to these together so they're really tight, yeah. right? This is the first step, right? Pay attention closely. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the iPhone charger. Everyone has an iPhone okay. charger or a cable like this in their home. And the whole point of this is that you can use stuff in your house. If you lock your keys, you can run back in and just get it no problem. So what I'm gonna do is you wanna create a point of contact from this end onto both ends here. Mm -hmm. Make sure, You don't want it to be on the left side or the right side, it has to be touching both. So now that I have it touching both, I have electrical tape okay. and I'm just gonna tape this. You wanna use electrical tape preferably, but mm -hmm. um, because that is what helps conduct it. But if you don't, my buddy just used this to unlock his car and he actually just used blue painter's tape Why? and it worked fine. Okay. But electrical tape is preferred. I have it in my house. So look at this, I'm just gonna tape this on here, mm -hmm. right? Remember maintaining that point of contact uh, between the positive and negative ends of the battery. Yep. So I'm just gonna press this on. Okay. So now you might be wondering, what are we gonna use this other end for? Yep. This is gonna go inside of this keyhole. What? So the gun that I used is that so it stays in. The The way that this keyhole mechanism works is it'll automatically pop <laughs> something out, but I put the gum so it's gonna remain inside here. Oh. So the reason why I used gum is that it's a very good insulator, oh. right? So we're creating basically a little battery here that's gonna mimic the key fob that you click the button and it pops it open. Oh. So we wanna maintain this electrical current throughout. So I'm gonna use gum to not only keep this in place, but to act as an insulator, mm -hmm. right? So now that this is in, um, we wanna create basically a catalyst that's gonna send an electric charge from this battery into here and it's gonna pop this open. Oh. So all you need is a lighter of any type. When my mom did this, she even just used um, a gas station lighter, but this okay. is what I had in my house. Like I said, the whole point is that you can do this with items inside of your household. So when I touch this onto here, right, I'm just gonna do light taps. You don't wanna hold it on. You just wanna do light taps and you wanna make sure that the flame is in contact, same as with the charger, with both the positive and negative side. That is what's gonna create the electric charge up here. So I'm gonna do this here and watch closely to what happens. This should pop up and let us inside and get our keys. So it might take a couple tries. I might even hold it on for longer for this one. But if you hold it right, see that? Oh my yeah, God, it worked. It popped up and we're in. Look at that. <gasps>